Meanwhile, the girls' Class A semifinals were this afternoon in Schuylerville. 80 minutes of soccer to determine who would play in Saturday's final. Well, in theory, 80 minutes, but in the first semi, Burnt Hills, Boston Lake, and South Glens Falls needed 80 minutes plus four overtimes and penalty kicks. Burnt Hills was the two seed. South High the three seed, and for two halves, little separated them. South High got on the board first. Liz Spada with the header off the corner to give the Bulldogs a 1-0 lead. But this would be decided by penalty kicks. Anna Scott makes a big stop for Burn Hills, and it all came down to Kylie Babcock for the win. And she scores. The Spartans win the shootout 5-4 to four to advance to Saturday's title game in Stillwater. You know, I wasn't thinking, you know, this is going to be the end. We knew we had it in us. It's just, we had it in us in the PKs. Ooh, it was, uh, it was a close game. Yeah. Over the day, really good to run today. Um, competition was great. Um, we both fought really, really hard. And in the end, we, we pulled it away. Burn Hills gets the winner of this one. Mahonison challenging Scotia Glenville. The Tartans are the top seed undefeated, ranked fourth in the state. So, this was surprising. Mahonison scored the game's first two goals. This one off the boot of Lexi Cannavale sneaks just past the goalie for the first goal of the game. Mahanasin stuns previously unbeaten Scotia 2-1 to one to advance to the sectional championship. In the Class B girls semifinals from Stillwater, Shalmont, the number one team of the state, survived a scare from Schuylerville. The Sabres advance 1-0 to take on Voorheesville in Saturday's section championship.